Good day, gents. I am Second Officer Salmarin, and welcome aboard to this short video clip. And for today's video, I will be giving you a quick overview of what is a jar compass, its repeaters, and what are the usual maintenance that we are carrying out on board. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Today, we are now here at Yanjin Anchorage, China. And I will be showing to you our gyro compass on board. First, what is a gyro compass? Gyro compass, it is a non-magnetic compass in which the direction of a true north is maintained by a continuously driven gyroscope whose axis is parallel to the Earth's axis of rotation. So now we have here the gyro compass. And it is not just only a common gyro compass because it is the mother gyro. And if you're going to open the box underneath, you will find here the gyro spear. And we are not going to deal with that because I believe you already have some information about its principle. And this gyro compass basically has three or four repeaters depending on the type of ship. If you have a bigger ship, most likely you will have four repeaters. And these four repeaters are the center repeater, starboard wing repeater, port side repeater, and steering gear repeater. On board this gyro compass and gyro repeaters are needs to be maintained as per our planned maintenance system and some of it are first it is recommended that the gyro compass should run continuously for example you're at port or during at birth the gyro compass should not be switched off and it should be run always Next, latitude and speed correction should be applied. Third, gyro alarms to be checked daily. Fourth, gyro compass should be compared with magnetic compass frequently. And above all, repeaters should be synchronized at least once a watch. So the question now is, how are we going to synchronize the repeaters? As an example, we will use our center repeater and as you can see here on its body, there's a black toggle stick and all you need to do is to pull it up and hold it for a few seconds until you will see the disc spinning and will adjust by itself. So we will just try it and just observe. But before you adjust or synchronize the gyro repeater, you need to first uh, take note what is the current heading of the vessel. And as you can see here, we have 094.4 degrees. So that later on after uh, synchronizing this gyro repeater, you would be able to determine that this gyro repeater is synchronized to our mother gyro. So let's start. Please observe to the video and now I will start to pull up this toggle stick and just observe what will happen. That's it. As you can see, the disc spin by itself and this will move to course 00. It will adjust to 00 and it will spin until the course which we showed the 094.4 so that's it that's how are you going to synchronize the gyro repeater so that's all for now but before i end up this video i want to stress that before you will make any maintenance on board you need first to consult the maker's manual in order for you to be always on the safe side and think safety first so good luck to all of you and god bless